students in the previous video we had done till floating plants today we will continue with other different plants okay fixed plants plants that have their roots fixed to the bottom of a water body such as pond are called fixed plants these plants are found in places where the water is not very deep like lotus water lily are fixed plants adaptation fixed plants show the following adaptation they have flat and broad leaves which help them float easily on the surface of the water the broad leaves absorb more sunlight these plants have long thin and hollow stems these leaves have a waxy coating that prevents them from rotting in water so they have a waxy coating which prevents them from rotting stomata are present on the upper surface of the leaves this allows the upper surface of the leaves to take in air for photosynthesis now next underwater plants plants that grow underwater are called underwater plants such plants are found in ponds where the water is not very deep they are found in moving water like stream so a moving water it's called a stream pond weed and tape grass are examples of underwater plants adaptations underwater plants show the following adaptations they have long and thin leaves so that water can flow through them without tearing them the leaves of these plants do not have stomata the plant breathes through its entire body so underwater plants breathes through its entire body now next special plant adaptation some plants show special adaptation let us see plants that live in marshy areas some plants live in marshy and salty areas the soil here has a lot of salt in them mangroves grow in such areas in these trees the roots are not able to grow well under the soil so some roots grow above the soil these are called breathing roots because they grow outside to breathe in air properly next plants that eat insects plants that eat insects are called insectivorous plants like the venus fly trap and pitcher plant the pitcher plant has pitcher shaped leaves with a lid when an insect lands on the edge of the pitcher it slips down and the lid closes later the plant releases some juice that help it to digest the insect next plants that are not green plants do not have chlorophyll in them some plants and thus they are not able to prepare their own food such plants depend on the plants for their food these plants are called parasitic plants like mushroom and raphlesia is the largest flower on the earth okay students now let us do some question answer question 1 what do you understand by fixed plants give examples plants that have their roots fixed to the bottom of a water body such as pond are called fixed plant examples lotus water lily next what do you mean by insectivorous plants give examples plants that eat insects are called insectivorous plants examples fly trap pitcher plant next which is the largest flower on earth the largest flower on earth is raphlesia next uh, give one word answers plants that trap insects for food insectivorous plants plants that shed all their leaves once a year deciduous plants non green plants that do not prepare their own food parasitic plant 
plants with breathing roots that grow outside to take in air mangroves so we have completed this chapter adaptation in plants i hope you all have understood it